Okay, theorem number six, it's another theorem on a cyclic quad, just like with theorem number five, theorem number six as well, we involve a cyclic quadrilateral. So thanks for tuning in. Let us discuss our theorem six. See, this is grade 11 Euclidean geometry. So um, just like on the previous videos, in terms of Yenza, I'll show you a proof and then do my examples just to demonstrate to theorem 6 or 7 saga ganjan in the description box so tola my links for other recordings in the for the other theorems like we euclidean geometry so yeah theorem 6 theorem 6 involve a cyclic quadrilateral so this cyclic quad here too it's all about this external angle right this external angle it's not like we are only limited to this external angle now an example of an external angle the line come and extend and then this line, this angle is is, an, is another example of the external angle this line now we extend this is another example of an external angle this line now you extend here's another example of an external angle same nala external angle so on and so on yeah now theorem six the idea lies that the external angle of a oh, the external angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the interior opposite angle so but he the exterior angle i start to see one as the example yet is equal to this interior opposite angle always it's equal to this one so c1 is equal to a and then let's say lana maybe it's not b1 b2 then b2 over equal to one angle d over equal to angle d and then this one over equal to c2 so on and so on so lana again and it does we are given the points a b c and d which are the points that lie on the circumference of the circle thus making the quadrilateral to be a cyclic quad we are required to prove that c1 is in fact equal to a it's for no combis with the angle yelling on another angle so so learning the comba is a comba e proof for achieving this for showing that the c1 is equal to a so Lana using the previous theorem, there's no construction la or theorem number six, like Glamanyama theorems. Theorem six, there's no construction. No construction. Now we are using the theorem five to prove C2 plus angle A. Now so C2 plus angle A they are both equal to 180 degrees why well, according to theorem number five opposite angles opposite angles of a of a cyclic quad of a cyclic quad are supplementary so when i my opposite angles in a cyclic quad they give me 180 degrees why are you going to this one and this one it's because of oc2 no b1 they are somehow related to bunny oc1 remember if no proof to c1 is equal to a so i need to formulate an equation such in such a way that a available as well as ubani oc1 available so by using this pair of angles using the theorem number five i can achieve that C2, a But C2, angle C2, no C1. Number eta, they also give me 180 degrees. Why? Ama angles on a straight line. On a straight line. Okay. Now, Remember, the goal here tonight is to prove that C1 is equal to A. So therefore, since C2 plus A is equal to an 80, and then the second equation now is equal to an 80, I can say that C2 plus angle A 
is equal to angle C2 plus angle C1. Yes? Check out much. Now, if in total of C, I'm transposing him later up. Or I can do the same and say, I can do the opposite. Instead of transposing lo C2, transpose lo C2 him later ali. It doesn't matter. But the, but the aim lana is to bring la C2 and down A1. So we have C1 and then lo C2 lo munye naga figa. At the so. But we are born here, people. So get the C2 now. C2, lo C2, lo yam transpose, or your figure up about negative. C2, then C2, cancel C2, salo angle A, which is equal to angle C1. Voila. So prove the leg, imagine theorem 6. Okay? Um, prove the theorem number 6. So this is the proof for theorem number 6. Uh, so let me erase Lana and talk about the e converse theorem ga theorem number six. Theorem six, by the way, has a um, a converse. Okay. Converse of theorem number six. So there's this common question la gu Euclidean geometry. In fact, go paper two on the last question. Um, paper two, mathematics paper two on the last question. Usually, you tell a Euclidean geometry question. Leo question leo, it's usually more of proving. Proving sometimes one would prove that maybe line, line A is parallel, line AB is parallel to line CD. A para, prove good lama lines are parallel. Ama lines are parallel or prover or FU. And now my alternating angles co interior or my corresponding angles, right? Sometimes one will go a shape like this one. The shape plates inside a circle. This is what you go A. Prove that this thing, Lena, it's in fact a cyclic quad. You can use the theorem 5. Now I'll be able to my angles. But now I'll be able my angles. Um, you can use the theorem number 6. Nangi taba nanga baba nanga baba okay back theorem five same same baza eighty degrees la and then lana it's ten degrees uh, I don't know maybe hundred hundred degrees sorry then one eighty plus um, hundred is equal to one hundred and eighty degrees so we prove it like it's a cyclic quad using the theorem number bani five now with theorem six usually the, the, the converse of theorem six year sevens are cool in a tiny see apply a cool in proving i'm a i'm a cyclic quad but more on a pro, more on proving at a later stage um or i think it in the description box zotola as well as e a link to i'm a proofs using lama theorems now right I, i'll also cover that one so check out the description box if i need post on yet he says okay. so lana theorem number six converse of theorem six if i saw one in the on theorem six see tenny the angle le is equal to this one if an exterior angle of a cyclic quad of a quadrilateral if an external angle of a quadrilateral is equal to the interior opposite, then the quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral. If this is equal to that, then this is a cyclic quadrilateral. So with theorem 6, but is a guity. This shape is a quadrilateral. Therefore, A is equal to this. Converse of theorem six, but you go away. <coughs> Lentole C one is equal to A. Conclusion, therefore, this shape is a cyclic quad. In Kulumilang a converse with theorem number one. It define a hypothesis, then conclusion. Go converse, it's the conclusion, then hypothesis. Right? So this is the converse of theorem number six. Uh, okay, now I see the la. Kuma examples here. Let's take my examples. 
now my examples so I'm given a shape like this one basically um, calculate the unknown variables la. so for the first to four p x definitely is equal to 85 degrees external angle of cyclic quad external angle of cyclic quad then as easy as I will see C uh, let's see oh yeah x is equal to this angle is equal to this one right this is the opposite angle this is the opposite angle one with D so D is equal to the external angle so D is the opposite and then the external one 125 so it's 125 degrees external angle of psych lake quad of cyclic quad then says for now y as well as no x but check out something la. now says we are back to theorem number three see net diameter where does the diameter theorem number two should be taken into consideration so y is equal to 90 degrees why because of the y is the angle in a semi circle semi circle 90 degrees therefore i can calculate to x lanang no 90 right but to z again konogum calculator without b1 guess what b1 is equal to 180 minus 125 for my angles on a straight line on a straight line EP this angle 125 no P1 number eta they should give me 180 so therefore P1 is equal to 180 minus 125 100 cancels 100 18 keep at 25 so 60 to 55 55 55 so now we'll one and then z angle z is equal to 180 minus 55 for p1 minus 90 degrees so lana reason sum of angles in a not a cyclic quad in a triangle sum of angles in a triangle therefore z is equal to 118 keep a 90 it's 90 and then 90 minus 55 that's 35 <coughs> 25 25 so 70 yeah it's 25 now i answer it so this is our answer for lama example so to learn I send the our cleaner <coughs> now my my example is Lana um, let's see okay D yes I send with D like a A is equal to a hundred and twenty one hundred and twelve I mean one one two external angle of psych lake quad of a cyclic quad and then b p some calculator and john game hmm right ut p q r it's a cyclic quad theorem 5 utiama opposite angles in a cyclic quad are supplementary so therefore up is equal to a hundred and eighty degrees minus ninety two why um, uh, opposite angles in psych lake quad are supplementary therefore p is equal to in keep 92 la pa in keep 92 let's see so 100 in keep 92 xala 
88 so it's 88 but a special minus 92 hola hola it's 88 degrees let's do the last one e so x work over equal to what 98 degrees over the external angle of cyclic quad of a cyclic quad then what about y again lana it's 90 because lana it's 90 degrees because of this symbol nyana this rectangle the square lana it's 90 how about y y over equal to 180 minus 90 over number opposite angles theorem number five so same reason as above opposite angles in a cyclic quad y is equal to 90 degrees so theorem number six our recording here to isopele lalana i hope we enjoy it i hope we told you some value out of this um check out the description box so the my links for other recordings for my theorem someone you want to discuss either for this grade 11 euclidean geometry so if we enjoy it please show support by liking sharing and subscribing so there's there's also a a link for an exercise just to practice with theorem number six so please check it out now so for now as on the next videos we click in the description box bye bye